Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. Question says, consider a uniform electric field E, which is equals to, let me rewrite this expression. E is electric field vector, which is 3 into 10 to the power 3 I cap. I cap means the electric field is along X axis, 3 into 10 raised to 3, correct? Calculate the flux of this field through a, through a square surface of area this much. When the plane is parallel to YZ plane, and the uh, normal to its plane makes 60 degree with the x axis okay we'll come back to this question for a minute what i am doing is i am resharing the screen i'll explain the concept and i'll come back to this so that we can understand this problem better so i hope you have seen this screen before also when i explain 3d concept okay so let's recall our concept of flux let me remove this and i'll add here a new object a plane okay I'll take this object and I will simply rotate it, okay, along, uh, let's rotate it along one particular axis and let's rotate it along this axis, let's say, okay, so this is our plane, this is our plane, be very careful with this, if this is the plane, sir, where is the normal to this plane, sir, normal to this plane will be simply along this direction, let me just draw it normal to this plane will be perpendicular to this right this is called normal normal means 90 degree okay if you want to see the front view you can see the front view also these arrows which i made they were perfectly 90 degree and not only in the front direction they are also in the back direction also perfectly 90 so i am just making here n this is normal now if an electric field is along this direction only making listen very carefully if this is electric field and this electric field is making 90 degree with the plane 90 degree with the surface this is our surface so if this is making 90 degree with the surface then what is the angle between the normal and electric field look from 3d what is the angle between the normal and the electric field? Sir, both are pointing in the same direction. They are parallel. So, theta is 0 degree. Clear? So, this is our E1. I am assuming this is electric field E1. Now, let's take another electric field in this direction. Or let me just put it from the top. This is our E2. Now, E2 is along the surface along the plane so what is the angle between e2 and the normal so now it is 90 degree clear it is let's take a recap of this what i have just now explained so if you have a surface the angle is always in the flux formula the angle is always taken between normal to the surface and electric field not between electric field and surface in the first case, electric field is making 90 degree to the surface while it is making 0 degree with the normal. So, we will take 0 degree. In the second case, electric field is making 0 degree with the surface but it is taking making 90 degree with the normal. So, we will take 90. We always take electric field and normal. Always. Not between field and the surface. Between field and the normal. Why we do that? Because, sir, if you are sending, if someone is firing bullets from here, the best way to keep this shield like this, then only we can stop it. If someone is firing the bullet in this and you keep it parallel, okay, it will pierce the body. Clear it is? So, I hope this concept is clear. Let's keep in mind this thing and we will understand our next question. Let's continue. Question says, consider a uniform electric field E. This is along x-axis. Calculate the flux of the field through a square surface so this is a square surface i am drawing here okay and this square surface is parallel to whom yz plane if it is parallel to yz what is the perpendicular so imagine inside your room yz plane how can you how can you imagine that imagine any corner look around look at the corner of your room take it as x axis take it as y axis do this right now and take it as z axis clear okay look at the corner 
decide one axis as x axis, one axis as y axis, and one axis as z axis. Then this wall will be yz axis, yz plane, we will call it. Bio people focus. This is yz plane. And if it is yz, which axis is perpendicular to yz? x axis. Correct? So here, if this is a plane parallel to yz plane, then what is the normal? The normal of this plane is pointing in x axis direction. Clear it is? And if it is normal is pointing along x axis, okay? And what is the area? Sir, area here will be, we will have to find because, uh, oh, area is already given. Area of this is 10 centimeter square. So, centimeter square we will convert here. Let's write here A equal to 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Centimeter square converted into meter square, correct? Now, I will not teach that in 12th standard. 10 to the power, how it got minus 4. That's our. So let's recall our second formula. Sir, question is, I have one more question, sir. Every time when we get question, how do you decide that when to use Gauss's law and when to use this electric field? Phi equals to Ea cos theta. Be very careful when electric field and area is given. This is obvious that this is to be used. But sometimes to confuse you, they can also give electric field also and charge also. Always remember, we use Gauss's law. When the charge is given total charge enclosed upon epsilon naught that is always first priority if electric field and area is given then it will use but if both are given priority is given to charge clear so e into a into cos of theta now what is electric field sir electric field is 3 into 10 to the power 3 area what is the area sir 10 into 10 to the power minus 4 and what's the angle between the normal and the electric field. Sir, electric field is also along x-axis. Pay attention, I cap. It is along x-axis. And area normal vector is along x-axis. So, theta is 0 degree. Recall our that animation part. Just now I explained that. So, theta is 0 degree because the electric field and the normal to the area both are pointing in the same direction. Normal to the area. Listen very carefully. So, this will give you 3 into 10, 30 into 10 to the power minus 1 which is 3. What is the unit? Electric field is Newton per coulomb and meter square. Done. Newton meter square per coulomb. This is the flux. First one. This is our first part. Second part. The normal of its plane, normal of its plane makes 60 degree with the x-axis. Great. So, if this is 60 degree, now this is our plane. Okay. Now, see how the diagram will change for the second case. And what angle you will have to take 60 or 30? Majority of people are confused in that. Should I take 60? Should I take 30? We will try to think about it. So if this is our x-axis and the plane is making 60 degree. So let's make a plane. Okay. Roughly drawing this plane somewhat like this. Okay. So if it is how much? 60 degree with the x-axis. Be very careful. The normal of the plane is making 60 degree, not the plane. So, I did a mistake here. I didn't draw the diagram properly. Okay. So, let's first draw a normal here. Okay. Any plane over here. This is our normal, let's say. And let's say this is our x-axis. Then what is the angle between normal and the x-axis? 60 degree. The angle between normal and the x-axis is 60 degree. And in which direction the electric field is? Sir, read the question again. Read the question again. It is again at I only. Question is not changing. Electric field is not changing. Electric field is still along x-axis. So, this is our electric field direction. Correct? So, normal and electric field. What's the angle between the electric field and the normal? 60 degree only. Be very careful. Let me repeat again normal and the x-axis they are both having 60 degree and x-axis is the direction in which electric field exists so angle between normal and the electric field is also 60 degree here so here you will take 60 only so read the question very carefully okay so what will be the flux now the flux will be electric field which is 3 into 10 to the power 3 area which is same 10 to the 10 to the power minus 4 and into cos of 60 degree clear it is okay so this will be so this will be 
3 into 10 30 into 10 to the power minus 1 and cos 60 is half so it will be 15 into 10 to the power minus 1 or 1.5 what's the unit newton meter square per coulomb be very careful with the angles so keep in mind that video okay uh, that part of video that where I explained you the animation very very important angle is always taken between the field and the normal let me repeat field and the normal